Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys another NHL 17 challenge video. In this one, we are going to see what would happen if the Oilers lost Connor McDavid. Possibly the newest best player in the NHL. And we are going to see what would happen and if it would make a drastic change. So, let's see if we need 300 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead. Hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. So, to make this series a little bit more interesting, what we have is I got on my computer a random hockey team uh, randomizer, and I got all 30 teams listed here. So, what I'm going to do is just randomize it three times, and whoever's on top will be the, uh, the team that he goes to. So, you guys can't see it, but... It's fine. I'm obviously going to be honest here. I really don't care what team he goes to. So let me go ahead and get him up here and pick Connor McDavid. And obviously, we just trade him for for like a really bad AHL player because I don't really care who I get for him. The point is just to see how they would do without him. So I'm going to go ahead. Refresh this three times. One, two, three. The Capitals are getting Connor McDavid. That might hurt us. No, I'm just kidding. They're in another conference, so it shouldn't be too bad. We'll take uh, Ovechkin for him. No, I'm just kidding. So basically, I just go all the way down here, and I'll take this clown. No, I'm just kidding. He's not a clown. I don't know who he is, but I was just joking. All right. Possibly the worst trade in the history of the NHL, but let's go ahead and get this started and see how they do. Uh, first of all, let's see what the lines are looking like. Let's go ahead Edit the lines, see what they got. So they already changed it for us. Yes, I want my assistant coach to help me out. <sighs> All right, well, they don't, yeah, they look pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But the fact that this guy, I mean, he's not bad. He'll probably become a 90 overall. But, I mean, it's not good to have him on the first line just yet. Uh, second line, though, great. Same with Nugent Hopkins. Uh, Hopkins. I wouldn't mind having him on my second line either. But definitely third is awesome. But we still got Lucic and Eberle. But um, but maybe they'll be okay. I think playoffs. I don't know. I mean, I think they'll. I think they'll finish over 500. That's my prediction. If they make the playoffs, they won't go further than the first round. That's my guess. So my predictions are over 500, but won't go past the first round in the playoffs. But we're already two and zero. Won both games against the Flames, so that's good. 2-1 to one now. It's still early, though. Even if we go on a nice little winning streak, still very early. Now we're starting to slump a little bit. That overtime loss might help us out, though. It's still a point. But, um, oh, here's the Capitals. How did we do against them? We lost 3-0. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> they got Ovechkin and McDavid, so. And, you know, guys like Oshi. Um, who's the other guy? Kuznetsov. Um... And they got a couple other pretty good players as well. Holpe. But I was talking about forwards. Um, oh, yeah. A lot of people <laughs> were mad that I forgot Eric Carlson on the on the uh, Senators when I was trying to think of, you know, like the best player on the Sens. Was it the Senator? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I apologize. I completely forgot about Eric Carlson. I, was, I f had a feeling I was forgetting about someone a lot better. But, like, I was naming Bobby Ryan. I don't know if he's still on the team. But, um... And who else was there that I was uh, thinking about on the Senator? Uh, Anderson. So, yeah, I don't know how I forgot about Carlson, so I do apologize. 8-12, and 12, damn. Looks like the playoffs won't even happen. But, like, um, but I do want to do one for each team. I don't want to do more than one. But some people wanted me to do more than one player, like, for, um, uh, oh, what team was it? Someone wanted me to do two guys. On, well, there were a couple with different, like, I think Hopi and Ovechkin, someone said for the Capitals. Uh, sorry, I'm yawning. Um, what else was there? I thought there was another team that people wanted me to do two guys. I don't remember. Was it the Leafs? No, I don't think so. Or was it the Jets? I don't remember. Who is the best player on the Jets? I know you guys are probably going to say Line A, but I think his overall is a little bit lower because he's still young. So I don't think EA made him 100% great. I don't remember who um who is the best. It might be Line A. I don't know. I feel like there's someone that's like an 86 though on the team, 87. I think Line A's only like I don't know what EA made him with the newest roster. So 
Yeah, wow. I was not expecting them to do this bad without McDavid. I really was not. Wow, they're awful. Very bad. I mean, wait, I thought they were going to go over 500. I really did. Wow, that's something. But, like, for the Sharks, we would do um Burns. I think he's the highest overall on the... I don't think Thornton is. He might... No, nah, I think it's Burns. And, like, on the Ducks, I think... Who is the highest on the Ducks? Is it Getzloff? Probably. Or Perry. It's probably Getzloff. Uh, Preds would be Subban or Rene. I think Subban's got higher, but I don't know. Um... Who else is there? On the uh, Wild, we'd probably do, um, uh, what's his name, Dubnik. I don't think he's that high, though, is he? I don't think Dubnik's that high overall. He should be, though. He was very good. He'll probably go up a lot next season. Uh, all right, so 13-32-6 is how good we're doing. Very bad. Um, uh, uh, I don't know how you say his name. Drysadel? Drysadel? I don't know how you say his name. I know I'm butchering it. I'm probably pissing a lot of people off, so I do apologize. Wow, that's really bad. 28 points in 44 games. Not too good from a first liner. Let's take a look all around the league. I'm sure McDavid will be up here. Oh, wow, he's actually not. I don't see him on this list. Where is he at? Is he actually not this high? Even Crosby's pretty far down. And Ben? Unless I completely missed him. Unless he was closer to the top. Did he get hurt? I had to have missed him. There's no way he's doing this bad. Isn't he like a 90 overall? McKinnon. McDonough. Yeah, where is he? He had to be at the top and I just missed him. There's Pavel Datsuk. Where is McDavid? Hold on, wait a second. Let's go to the Capitals. Oh, 46 points. So I guess I did miss him. So he is doing pretty good, though. Where was he? I completely missed him. Wait. Oh, there he is. Okay. I missed him again. What is he? What overall? 93. Okay, I thought he was around there, 93. But Tarasenko's 95? Damn. Is he the highest in the game? I think he is. Unless Crosby... No, Crosby's not even 95, is he? What's Sagan? 92. I know Ben's like 94 or something like that. I don't know. But, um, all right. So, not doing good at all <laughs> this season. I think the playoffs are pretty much out of question. But we might as well keep going and see how good we do. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah, Metropolitan. Capitals are obviously in first place. I think uh, by a big margin, 11 points. I think we... uh. I don't think that comes to a surprise, though. But we might as well finish off the season. I don't think there's going to be too much to see. Don't want to look at stats again. I'm I'm good without looking at that. Wow, that's embarrassing, though. Wow, really bad. We, we might be the worst in the league. I don't know, though. I thought that we would finish at least over 500. I mean, I wasn't sure about playoffs, but I know I said first round. I shouldn't have said first round. But, excuse me. I didn't think we'd be this bad. I think if this was franchise mode next year, we would be good. But if I was playing, because I would probably play a lot better than simulating. But, I mean, we're just doing awful. At least we beat the Flyers at 3 2 Damn. Very bad. But I do like these, these videos. Uh, you know, I do want to try and get every team done before, uh, excuse me, before NHL 18 comes out. So, and I do have to think of, I don't know if this video is going to go up at 3 o'clock or 1 o'clock. I'm not sure. I was recording an NHL franchise for 1 o'clock, but I had audio issues. It kept, it kept like, uh, I don't know how to, like, lagging. It was like, hello, hello, guys. What, what, it was like, it was like stuttering. And it was kind of, it pissed me off. I was like, great. And it was like, I don't really want to upload or record this again. Obviously, I didn't have to record the same game but it would be another franchise game that i would play not the same game though and the same opponent i just saved that game we won four to one though but uh it was a good episode but i thought it was a very entertaining one it wasn't really a nail biter but it was it wasn't a blowout it was kind of close but 
until uh, I think the third period we scored our third goal. Or did I score? No, I think we scored one. In the, yeah, I think we scored two in the third, an empty netter at the end. All right, well, I'm going to go out of the limb here and say we did not make the playoffs. That's my guess. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good one. So we finished 30, 43, and 9. Might as well sim the whole season before we take a look at everything and just see where everyone ended up. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll look at standings and all that and stats for both McDavid and our Oilers and awards as well. We'll take a look at them. Watch the Capitals win the Cup if they make it past the second round. Oh, man, that sucks, though. That really does. It's a bummer. But what are you going to do, you know? It is what it is. All right. I think we do. We have a winner. Let's see. I got another guy. I think that might be it. Or was this the last day I picked a sim? No, I think it usually ends around this day. Yeah, Blues won the cup. Okay. So not the Caps. I do want to see how far they went though. So we finished in seventh with sixty-nine points. Wow, that's awful. 49 points was our leading player. Jeez. Wow, that's bad. That's really bad. All right. Wow. All right, well, let's, let's take a look at the caps. Let's see how McDavid did. He finished with 64 points. Not, not bad. I'm sure people would have expected him to do a lot better, but it's all right. Not bad at all. They had four guys over 60 points, which is not bad at all. All right, well, we were awful. Let's take a look at uh, the playoff tree. Well, let's look at standings first just to see how bad or how good they finished. So we finished in dead last in the uh, division. Let's take a look at the Metropolitan. They were first with 105 points, so they m probably most likely got the uh, President's Trophy. Let's take a look at awards, see what happened. Uh, oh, no, they didn't get the President's. It went to the Kings. Okay. Player awards, though. We'll see if anyone on our team or the Caps got anything. No, they did not. All right. Okay. Well, let's take a look at uh, the playoff tree. Let's see what happened here. And the Capitals lost in the first round, not the second. All right. They lost to the Blue Jackets. And the Blue Jackets made it to the Cup, too. All right. Are there playoff awards or would i have seen them by now i guess i would have yeah that was all there too though i should know that i don't know why i was thinking there's a separate thing for uh, playoff awards all right wow that was bad that was a really bad season that might have been the worst sim we've had i think that was worse than the the rangers one without lundquist but um but that's going to do it for this episode i hope you all enjoyed if you guys want to see any more of these kind of challenges they are all in the nhl 17 challenges playlist um which is in the description down below and uh and yeah i hope you guys all enjoy if you have any ideas for a challenge video uh besides what if a team lost a certain player because i just will take the best player from that team and see what happens when that team loses that player so besides for those because i, I just like i said take the best player uh besides for ideas for that if you guys have any other challenge ideas be sure to leave them down below and who knows your idea could become a challenge video here on the channel and um that'll do it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys in the next episode peace